Hey everyone, uh, no Hordak and AJ on this one. This is uh, too serious of an issue, but I've got my Steel Brigade females for uh, breast cancer awareness. I have three. One is for me to open. One is for my wife to keep in the box. And one is for my mother, who is a breast cancer survivor. So I thought I'd pull them all out, show them here, and, and really just kind of show them as they are. And then I'll open up mine and uh, we'll take a look at the figure. I mean, there's a great cause. There isn't a lot different from the female steel brigade that I can see. And uh, that's a good thing. Uh, the, the Something like this it is purely for a fundraising thing, I think should be handled this way. I mean, it's just a straight up repaint. Nothing new, nothing different, nothing odd, nothing making it rare or, um, you know, odd or anything. And yeah, I'm a guy that gives Hasbro a lot of crap over straight up repaints. I don't enjoy them very often. Um, this is a case though, this is a special fundraiser, so you know, it's an exception. There are always exceptions to all rules. Nothing is set in stone, so you know, I'm saying this is perfectly acceptable as a, uh, as a repaint. It should be a repaint. I, I don't see any other reason I don't see a reason why not to have it as a repaint. So, all right. Uh, anyway, I'm done talking. Let me uh, go off camera. I'll take mine out of the box and uh, we'll take a look. Okay, and there she is. Now, uh, I did move that one over because I was getting a whole lot of glare. I tried flipping it around. I still was getting glare off of the light above my camera. So, um, I, I didn't want the glare in the, sh in the shot. So, and I wanted to get a good light on her. Uh, no background for this. Um, anyway, this is a fundraiser for the Gloria Gemma Foundation. Uh, if you want to learn more about the Gloria Gemma Foundation, Mython the Python has done a fantastic video uh, explaining everything. Mython does an amazing job explaining things, and I'm going to default to him on this so that um, I'm not quite as wordy. I I've seen people look, uh, look this figure over and treat it like a normal action figure review, which is kind of weird to me because, you know, when this was announced, my goal was to help fundraise. It's a little bit, but it's something. And it's a great opportunity to, for, you know, this hobby, let's just be straight up. This hobby is kind of greedy. And I felt it was a good opportunity to give, you know, rather than just, oh, I got my new dolly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's kind of funny because very few people, Mython, Mython has talked about it, but very few people other than he has talked about it. And as I always point out, I keep this nearby so that it's a reminder to be a better person. So that's the aspect I want to look at more so a little bit than uh, just the figure itself. The figure itself is phenomenal, um, as I would expect. It's a straight repaint of the female steel brigade we already have, and that is fine because for this kind of fundraiser, I think that's what we should be doing. And now, it, it, she comes with what you expect, a battle stand, which, you know, is pink which is pretty awesome. Now the thing is about the stands with the Valiverse figures, I never use them for Valiverse. I use them for other figures. I use them classified, wrestling, Marvel Legends. Um, you know, these are not needed for these figures. These figures stand fine on their own. She is very, very bright pink as you can see. And I kind of prefer it that way, to be honest. I, I think that works. I think that works well and of course has the realistic military aspects we expect now I see a lot of people clamoring for the pink vanguards as well I'm not one of those people I'm gonna say it uh, if the pink vanguard was done for breast cancer awareness yeah I'd be trying to find a way to get it um, it is a separate piece yeah it looks good with the steel brigades but I do feel like the pink vanguard was a special item and that the special people who wanted it deserve it and who will treasure who will treasure something like that and i've seen several um you know like 
people who have gotten the pink vanguard and they display they're displaying their pink steel brigade with them and it's it's nice it's it's a good aesthetic i like it a lot uh, I'll, I'll say it that way but again i would not cherish a pink vanguard it's not the same thing i will cherish this this to me is important because it, it's personal it's kind of like a few months ago um they did a down syndrome no it's been almost a year ago they did a down syndrome barbie the barbie wears the same braces my daughter has to wear um because she's learning to walk at six she still is not able to walk due to bad do the low muscle tone uh <clears throat> and the braces help her balance and i have that for her i have two i have one to keep in the box i have one to uh, give to her when she's old enough and that was kind of nice and it, it made me think about you know special figures like this one too this one is something that impacted me personally in my life my mom i was a teenager i was really just about to start high school i was in eighth grade when she was diagnosed and it was the scariest part of my life and while me and my mother have a relationship very similar to Sean Connery and Indiana Jones, I'd rather have a kind of antagonistic relationship with my mother than to have no relationship with my mother at all. And um, for a while, it was scary. And when I graduated high school, this is not a joke, my mom was the only person, because, you know, back then they had group rooms there were six people in her room all with breast cancer my mom was the only person still living when I graduated high school from that room that she stayed in and that was so and watching her go through chemotherapy was heartbreaking and you know coming out the other side and you know it's it's funny because when you're not the person you don't see that get over point I never actually felt like I saw that with my mother um, I know she did she definitely got over it and she's recovered and she's lived a full you know still living a full wonderful life and yeah we we, we kind of nip at each other but you know what <laughs> I wouldn't change anything because it's my mom and um, you know sometimes children and parents you know they nip at each other but it's okay but I look at this figure and I'm like this was very personal to me when Bobby announced it I, I was you know I said I will have I, I know exactly what I'm gonna do and I it's exactly what I just said and because uh, this is something that affect me personally in my life um, it was very scary very very scary it, it was um, unbelievably scary and, uh, you know, I thought my mom was going to be gone soon. So, yeah, it means something to me. It means, some, it means a great deal. And I should point out the ribbon on her armor. Breast cancer awareness ribbon. And, you know, all around it's just, you know, we know the Steel Brigade is cool. It's a very cool figure. And... You know, I'm, I'm kind of glad, you know, my mom really pokes at me for collecting toys still. Um, of course, I never stopped, and she's always poked at me for it. So, <clears throat> it's going to be interesting when I present this to her. Uh, and I kind of can't wait to see her reaction, because I think it's something she's not expecting. That dope. toys can do this. I, I don't think she really understands, and I think she might get an understanding I'm, I want to think so anyway maybe I'm dreaming I don't know <laughs> but of course the Steel Brigade is awesome and I love the Steel Brigade I love uh, everything Bobby's done with the Steel Brigade so far Hi. sorry I had to stop for a second just a little nothing and um, I thoroughly enjoy you know what he has done with the steel brigade i i was never a big steel brigade fan 
I have to be honest about that. I, I was never a big Steel Brigade fan with G.I. Joe. Just something about the head bugged me. So, you know, yeah, figure that out, right? Um, but this figure, and I mean this mold, I mean not just this figure, but the, the mold that he produced for Valiverse won me over very quickly. Uh, I, um, first time I saw it, I was like, ooh, that's kind of nifty. That's kind of cool. And I just, you know, I was going to just get some Steel Brigade originally when I started Valiverse. And for some reason, I bought Trigger first. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember why, but I bought some Steel Brigade, then I bought Night Ops Steel Brigade, and I've been Steel Brigade ever since. I got every variation he's done so far of Steel Brigade. So, you know, again, this is another one, another cool variation, but I love, 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 and I can't reiterate it enough, love the fact that this is a fundraiser to help uh, breast cancer research. I'm not going to go, in, you know, we got a long arm, we got a short arm, um, we got a knife, on the back, um, stand, um, hands. I got hands. Funny how I'm the one that got stuck with that one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, anyway, everything you expect from a steel brigade. So I'm so happy Bobby did this. Um, you know, just, just to give something to help with the cancer research because it's important you know one of these days we're going to be cancer and it's going to be a lovely day i hope it's soon but again buy this you know i don't try to tell people what to buy and what not to buy but buy this figure to help with the uh, fight against cancer and you know what else can I say? I can't really say much of anything. I will say this is a cool figure. I mean, for what it stands for and for what it looks like, it's a great figure. The mold is awesome. I mean, I, know I, sh I shouldn't even have to mention the mold. The mold is awesome because it's freaking Valiverse, man. I know, and I have seen some people be real disingenuous on this one. Like, oh, I wish Bobby did, 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 did different molds and stuff. And it's like, yeah, well, he's a small company doing a military line, and new molds are coming in the next wave. This is before that, but and this is a perfect. I, I really think, I can't reiterate enough. I really think this is a perfect fundraiser type of figure. It's a variation of a figure we already have, and it's easily recognizable, but at the same time, is very special. So, again, I can't really say that enough I, I really just like this figure for what it represents and for what it is or for what I know I gave a little bit to help and that made me that makes me feel good and thank you Bobby for the opportunity and you know it's just really awesome and she's gonna go up on my action force display up there and She'll always have a place there, no matter what. Um, you know, I'll, um, I'll I'll find her a place soon, and then uh, she's gonna stay there. I doubt she'll ever come down, because um, again, this just means the world to me. Because again, I almost, I really almost lost my mom, and it was very scary, very, very, very scary. Um. And my heart goes out to my son, who's, who did lose his mom. Um, you know, and there were other people. Anyone who's lost anyone to breast cancer. It's horrible. It's bad. It's terrible. It's... I can't even describe... I can't even describe it. What... And, you know... <laughs> I wasn't the one directly affected, it was my mother, um, but I watched every bit of it, and there was a song by Lou Reed called The Sword of Damocles, and it was about, there was a couple of lines in it about cancer, 
and chemotherapy. And um, he said, I'm trying to remember exactly how he worded it. It was like th this thing that makes you sicker to make you better, I don't understand. Um, and that's chemotherapy. And yeah, I watched that and I don't understand. You know, I had some, it's weird. I know it works and it worked on my mom. We got it soon enough, but yeah, it was tough. But all right, enough pouring my shit out on the on the YouTubes. Uh, again, great figure. Give, give, get, get it, and give, because that's what we're here for. All right. Okay, not a review, just a video. Thank you for watching, listening to me pour out all my stuff. And you guys take care. Peace.